You're watching the news summary on Geo.TV. I'm Avas Jaffer. Addressing the NATO summit in Chicago, President Asif Ali Zardari says Pakistan wants bilateral relations with the United States based on mutual trust. In his address, the president highlighted that peace in Afghanistan is in Pakistan's favor, that the Pakistani parliament has resolved to uproot terrorists from its soil and has also given the roadmap for relations with ISAF and NATO. The president announced a $20 million aid package for Afghanistan and expressed hope that Afghan security forces will take up their responsibilities. Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan's address to the joint session of Pakistan's parliament rang loud on praise for the achievements made by the House as well as advice for the opposition benches. Erdogan condoled the death of Pakistani soldiers in Gyari and those who lost their lives in the recent air crash. Lauding the achievements of the parliament, Erdogan spoke of responsibilities that burden the shoulders of parliamentarians. On the opposition's roles, Erdogan stressed that the opposition shouldered the responsibility of safeguarding people's interests and not just unseating the government. The Turkish Prime Minister added that when the government falters, the opposition must show the way. The Prime Minister in his address welcomed Erdogan and praised the relationship between the two countries, highlighting that trade between the two countries will reach $2 billion by the end of the year. The leader of the opposition, Chaudhary Nisar, in his address, which was not part of the original agenda of the joint session, praised Erdogan and Pak-Turk relations, stressing that Pakistan and Turkey are two countries with one soul. Speaking to the media earlier, Nisar said he was in attendance only because of the Turkish Prime Minister and considered Prime Minister Gilani unconstitutional, adding that he will not attend the Prime Minister's dinner. NATO leaders have called on Pakistan to reopen the supply routes to Afghanistan as soon as possible. The Chicago summit declaration outlined Pakistan's importance in ensuring peace and stability in Afghanistan, highlighting that NATO continues to work with Pakistan to reopen the ground lines of communication as soon as possible. The Pakistan Navy has court-martialed three officers over the Mehran base attack last year. Terrorists penetrated the base in May of 2011, destroying three Orion aircrafts and cost the Pakistan military 18 lives. Citing negligence towards duty and irresponsibility that led to the attack, Mehran base commander Raja Tahir, commanding officer Israr and security officer Lieutenant Commander Afsar have been court-martialed. The Supreme Court has summoned the Interior and Defence Secretaries tomorrow as it hears the missing persons case at its Quetta registry. During proceedings, Chief Justice Iftikhar Muhammad Chaudhry remarked that the time to suspend officials had long passed and the court would now have to take some action.